Now, if you've arrived at your favorite campsite in your Bailey camper van and you're wondering how to plug it into the electrical system, we're gonna run through the complete system from the 230 volt hookup to its own 12 volt power supply. Now we will begin with the hookup cable. So you've driven your Bailey camper van onto the pitch and now it's time to plug it in. Now I have both ends in my hand at the moment. The cable is laid out from here to the bollard, but I don't want this going any damp grass. And this is the end that goes in the camper van. The camper van end has a cover. All you do is you pull it back and then you insert it into the socket. So we have our cable completely unwound. The other end is plugged into our Bailey camper van. Now it's time to plug this into the bollard itself. Now this is probably one of the most simplest bollards that you will find. All you do is you lift up this blue flap. You'll see a notch just on the bottom that that plugs into. It's just at the bottom and it simply plugs into place. Now sometimes you may see a red button around about the five o'clock position. If there's a red push button there, you may need to just turn that clockwise until you feel a click. It's only if there's a red button here. And if you're not getting an electric supply, occasionally you'll see some RCDs like this one has. You can lift up the flap and make sure they're all in the upwards position. Once that's plugged in, you should be good to go. Right, so we've plugged in the electrical hookup cable. Now we go to the control panel that allows you to select the energy source that you need. Now the screen will be in standby mode. If you press one of the up or down buttons, it will light the screen up. If you look to the left, you can just see a plug symbol. That will let you know that uh, your 230 volt hookup is working and you have power to your camper van. Now, should you want to run off your own leisure battery or the vehicle's battery, all you need to do is select which battery you would like to use here, but we'll have to unplug first to show you how that works. Always isolate the electric supply, so I've unplugged from the bollard now, and that end is in my hand. Now it's time to unplug from your Bailey camper van itself. You'll notice there's a blue lever on the left. That unlocks that flap that we push down with our thumb to insert it. Push down on that blue tag, and simply pull it out, and then make sure that that cover is latched into place. Right, so now we've got the hookup cable unplugged, will wake up the screen. You can tell that we haven't got a hookup supply. The plug symbol is no longer there. So this means we're on our own power. And we have a choice of either the leisure battery or the vehicle's own battery. So using the down arrow, we scroll through the control panel until we come to battery select. It says leisure at the moment. That obviously means we are on the leisure battery. If you press the arrow, we can then toggle onto the vehicle's own battery. Obviously, we've got a good leisure battery, so we will stick to that. Now, we can also check uh, how much power is in the battery. Continue scrolling down. We can see the vehicle voltage, 13.1 volts, and the leisure battery needs a little love. It's on 11.9 volts. So all handy things to check, all things you could do from that Seattle control panel. Now, we'll expand a bit more on the batteries. Now, the leisure battery will power things like uh, your heating, uh, and the fridge because it's a compressor fridge. Now, should you need to go onto the vehicle battery if your leisure battery is getting a bit low, just keep an eye on the voltage on the control panel here. Now, if you then do go to a site that has a hookup, you plug in and that will then charge your leisure battery. Now, also, we have a consumer unit, much like you would have at home, and that isolates things um, like your fridge, your heating, all that sort of thing. And we'll show you where that is now. So for the final part of this video, we will talk about troubleshooting. So if you have something that's not working, you've already checked on your control panel that it should be working, it's now time to look at the consumer unit. Now, thankfully, this is similar to the one you would have in your home. It has a row of RCD sockets that should all be in the up position. Now, if one of them is down, simply flick it back up, and if it stays up, then all should be good. At the bottom, there is a row of automotive style fuses, each clearly labeled, such as lights or combi boiler. Uh, now, if you have a specific item that's not working, it's worth checking those fuses. Now, hopefully, with all those issues resolved, you should be able to enjoy your Bailey camper van.